Welcome back, this is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys this extremely simple painted birch tree tumbler. Now, I can't even stress how easy this is, but I figure this would be super easy and super fun to do for any type of fall tumblers that's a little bit outside of the box. So let's get to this. Today I'm going to be using a 20 ounce skinny tumbler from, that I purchased through the Stainless Depot, but please feel free to use any type of tumbler you guys like. Now I went ahead and I already painted my tumbler. Now you want to let this paint dry for at least 24 hours before you apply any type of tape to it because if you do not, it will peel that paint off. So I have all my materials here, I have my washi tape, I have a little one inch brush that I'm going to use, and then I have some alcohol inks that I'm going to use as well. I am using this first one is from Tim Holtz. This is slate, which is a gray color. I also have some colors from Christy Taylor. This one is Cleopatra Copper. It's such a beautiful color. And this one is called Yemen Gold, which is another beautiful sparkly color. Now these are the three colors I'm going to be using, but if you have any type of metallic colors that you have on hand, you can use that as well. But honestly, you guys can do anything you want with these tumblers. You don't have to do exactly as I'm doing. This is just an idea for you guys to get inspiration from. So however you do your background is completely up to you. So I have my washi tape here and I'm just going to get that peeled off and make sure it is the proper length of my tumbler so I don't accidentally not have enough. I'm gonna go ahead and get that ripped off. And this is just kind of abstract, wherever you guys want these trees to go. Now, I do want you to keep in mind that anything you put down first will be in front of all your other images. So these trees that I'm putting down here, they're gonna be bigger trees and they're going to be in the forefront of my tumbler. Those are gonna be the trees in the very front. So whatever you put down first will be the first image that you see. Now I'm gonna double up my tape here because I want, like I said, I want these trees to be a little bit bigger. So I'm just gonna kind of double my tape up. Now I'm just using washi tape because this is what I had on hand. I know the dollar store probably has a variety of different size um, masking tapes there. So if you guys need to, you can run out and get some masking tape, uh, different sizes, so that way you can do this as well. But if you happen to have washi tape, it works just as good. Now I took another little piece of tape and we are going to add a happy little branch here off to the side. <laughs> Just wherever you feel a branch should be. I'm just going to take it and make sure that it wraps completely over and make sure there's a gap in between so that way we can see the separation of the branch and the tree because if you put it too close then it doesn't really look like a branch. I'm going to do the same thing on the back side. I'm going to add another uh, bigger tree that will be uh, in the forefront on the back here and then we'll move on to adding those little trees that will be in the background of our painting. I almost didn't know what to call it there. Essentially, it is a painting. You're painting on this tumbler. You're making a custom painted art piece. Okay, <laughs> so now I'm gonna take some more pieces of tape. I'm not gonna double these up. These are, again, are gonna be the trees that will be behind the bigger trees. You just kinda wanna decide where you wanna put them. I just kinda randomly put them here and there. Wherever your heart desires that it should go, just place them down. Now you can crisscross over your trees here. As you can see here, I did a crisscrossed one here on this one. But you also wanna keep in mind, you don't wanna to add too many branches because I feel like once you add too many, uh, not branches, but trees, there we go. <laughs> I feel like once you add so many of the trees, it just kind of loses maybe the look that you're going for. It'll, and then it'll almost kind of look like just one big blob on your tumbler so you don't want to do too many trees just a few here and there now that my trees are all masked off i'm just essentially going to take my slate and make almost like how you would do a wood grain well it, it pretty much is almost like what you would do for a wood grain <laughs> but i just do a stripe and then up and down motions and kind of give it that wood grain look and i'm just going to do this completely around my tumbler
Now that my base is all done, I'm going to take my pretty sparkly alcohol inks here and I'm just going to kind of just add a little extra touch here and there. Nothing too crazy. I'm just going to keep within line of the lines that I'm doing here and just very gently swipe those colors back and forth until I get the effect that I want. Now again, like I said, there is no right or wrong when it comes to making art. If you guys want to make it just like this, that's why I'm showing it to you. But if you have other ideas in mind after watching this, I would so love to see them. I get so excited when I see what you guys create. Now I know you guys always say that you draw inspiration from me, but I also draw inspiration from you as well. You are amazingly talented and no matter what you guys create, it is going to be absolutely beautiful. Now that I got it about the way that I want it, I just wanted to show you guys really quick how sparkly those alcohol inks are, so pretty. Cleaned up my area and I got my new supplies here. I have a little dish for my paint. I have some black acrylic paint that I'm gonna use, which you can get at the dollar store. You could get anywhere pretty much. And we only need a very tiny amount, like very, I didn't even need that much. Like that's how little amount that we need. Now, you just want something stiff, a piece of cardboard. This happens to be something my kids got out of a Happy Meal. <laughs> I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna cut a little piece off and that's what we are going to use to create that birch wood look. Now that we have our supplies all prepped here, the first thing I want to do is pull the smaller pieces of tape the ones that will be in the background of our picture. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this tape. Oh, no, I was having an issue, hold on. <laughs> that washi tape really gets stuck in there. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so now I, I'm gonna pull my first piece of tape here and I'm gonna show you guys how to make that birchwood look. So now that I have all that all ready, I'm gonna take my little piece of cardboard here and I'm gonna show you guys actually how to not do it the first time around because <laughs> you don't want to add too much paint and I accidentally added too much paint so I'm going to go ahead and add this paint and I'm going to show you guys how to fix it but as you can see I'm just going right up against that paint line and I'm just making stripes over you just want to keep right in line with the angle of the first tree and then you're going to flip it and you're going to do the opposite side as well, doing the same exact thing where you keep right in line with your tree here and just making those stripes over. And again, I'm gonna show you guys how to fix this and then I will show you how it should look like. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do the, this bottom real quick. Now I'm gonna take some white acrylic paint and I'm just gonna come back through and essentially do the same thing. I'm just gonna use the same little piece of cardboard, not a big deal. And I'm just going to make little white stripes, just kind of filling it in because it did not need to be that, that dark there. <laughs> and it was an easy fix. See you guys, super easy, super simple. I know you got this. Okay, now <laughs> with a very small amount of black on my piece of cardboard, I mean barely any, I am going to make those little stripes right off the side on each side of my little trees here. What I also like to do is have a picture on hand to kind of help me out here. So here's a picture that I used and that kind of helped me out with how I would like my trees to look. And I think I did a pretty good job replicating that picture. Now to give it a little bit more depth, I took my piece of cardboard and I am just pouncing lines onto the tree, which give it even more of that birch tree look that I'm going after. So now we are ready to move on to the trees that will be in front of those other trees. So let me go ahead and pull that tape really quick. Wow, that, that washi tape really sticks. <laughs> okay, now that I have my tape off, there we go. Now you can see how it looks like that tree is in the front. See, super simple. Now I'm gonna do the same exact concept that we did for the other trees, take very small amount of my black paint and I'm just going to run down this whole side of this tree real quick. And I'm gonna keep it in kind of in slow motion here so that way you guys can see it a little bit better. 
once you get down to this part where you see the one tree behind it and then the other tree in front of it, it's pretty simple to see where you should continue on with your line. Now, I accidentally added a little too much black paint again here, but I'm not gonna worry about it because I'm gonna come back through with my white paint and I'm gonna touch it up and it's going to be just fine. See? easy fix. Now I'm going to do my branch where again I just do the same exact thing and then you can either swoop it down to kind of connect with your tree or you can just do like I did where you just kind of stop right at the angle there and just kind of blend it in from there. Now, all the while, I just want you guys to know, because I added such little ac acrylic paint to it, I wasn't really too worried about smudging it, but you guys do want to be careful. That's why my hand is inside of my tumbler while I was doing this. So be careful not to, not to smudge your paints, okay, guys? <laughs> all right, I'm just going to finish this up really quick, and then I'm going to let it sit and dry. Uh, I just used my blow dryer, and then it was ready to be epoxied after that. So I'm going to finish this up, and then we'll move on to epoxying it. All right, I think I like it just like this. Now, one thing I wish I would have added, and I'll probably do that after this coat of epoxy, is mine and my husband's initials carved into the tree. <laughs> so I think I'll add that. But now that it's all dry, I took it outside and I gave it a nice coating of my two times ultra clear cover here that I like to use. And I let that dry really well. And while I was doing that, I went ahead and I mixed up equal parts of my A and B from Illumilite's Amazing Clear Cast and kind of set that off to the side. Now, this is completely optional to add something to the bottom because I didn't really do anything to the bottom. I wanted to just add very something very light and soft. So I'm actually using my rose opal that I sell in my shop, but you guys don't have to do that at all. You can leave it just as is or add glitter on the bottom. Again, this is just what I wanted to do with this because this is for me. <laughs> so I'm going to apply my epoxy really quick. And then I'm going to apply my glitter onto the bottom here. Now, because my epoxy is pretty fresh, I only want to hit the bottom and basically just bring it around the edge of the tumbler here because as that epoxy cures, that glitter is going to continue to rise up and I don't want the whole thing to be glittered. So I'm gonna stop just like that and it will continue to kind of carry up the tumbler and give it more of a faded look. So that's about as much as I'm going to do with the glitter here as I keep going. <laughs> but that's about all I did there. Now, as you see at the beginning, I went ahead and I did add my name after the epoxy was cured. I let it cure overnight, about 12 hours. Then I added our initials to it. Then I added two more coats of epoxy and let that cure for about three days before I take my first sip out of it. Whether you tried to duplicate this or make it something completely your own, I hope that you guys had fun watching this today. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more tutorials, tips, vlogs I have coming your way. 
and I will see you guys next time.